Hi, happy Wednesday. Are you wearing pink today? Because Wednesdays we wear pink, right? So I got my pink on today. Um, hope you're having a good hump day. Hope your week has been off to an excellent start. It was a holiday on Monday, so usually that throws the whole week off. And Wednesday feels like a Monday, Tuesday felt like a Monday. So anyway, hopefully you're adjusting. I wanted to pop in live and I wanted to talk about feelings for a minute. Bad feelings, negative feelings, all the feelings that you work really, really hard to avoid. And I wanted to talk about feelings and eating disorders. Believe it or not, eating disorders are not just about counting calories, restricting calories, binging and purging, um, and wanting to lose weight. No, an eating disorder is way more um, complicated than that. And to avoid all the psychobabble, an eating disorder becomes a way to cope with these really negative, upset feelings. Rather than feel lonely, feel depressed, feel anxious, feel overwhelmed, um, feel invalidated, feel um, unsupported, it can become easier to think about how um, your body feels and how food in your body feels. So it's almost like you take all the negative feelings and all the negative stuff that you're dealing with and you kind of stuff it inside and that makes you feel really bad. It's kind of like you're, you feel these feelings through your body. So that ickiness that you feel in your body, you know, the way you look in your stomach, your thighs, your butt, all those things, that is masking how you really feel emotionally. That's why it can be complicated to not to, to, to treat an eating disorder. I mean, eating disorders, you can recover and you can get well, but it's not just as easy as um, stop worrying about what you look like and just eat some dinner. It's way more than that. You have to learn how to sit with and accept and deal with feelings. So one of the ways that you do this, that you start to recover from eating disorder and deal with those icky feelings that you're gonna have is you need to learn to identify how you're feeling. For some people, that's really hard to do. Some people are really like in their brain and they intellectualize everything and they think about everything and everything needs to make sense. If that's like you, then you can get in touch with how you're feeling by just spending some time with those thoughts. Perhaps pull out a journal, write down the things that are going through your brain, don't judge them, don't try to change them, just jot them down. That's going to lead you to a conclusion about how you feel. Perhaps you're someone who's more, um, you experience your feelings, but you're not really sure what that feeling is, um, you don't know how to name it, you just know you feel uncomfortable or upset. Try asking a loved one, someone that you trust, Tell them what's going on, tell them kind of what's going through your brain, tell them your experience and ask them how would you feel and help them help you identify how you're feeling. Once you kind of know how you're feeling, then you can sit and experience that emotion. Now, when I tell people this, they're like, hell no, I'm not doing that. I don't want to cry all day. I don't want to feel anxious all day long. But the thing is, is when you take charge of your emotions, you won't feel depressed all day long. You won't cry all day. You won't be anxious all day. You can allow yourself time to feel feel and experience that emotion because the more you can like identify it and get it out, the less likely you're going to internalize it and take it out on your body. The next thing you want to do is accept the feeling. This is also really hard for people to understand, but listen y'all, bad stuff happens and bad stuff hurts and it's okay to feel negatively we don't have to feel bad all the time we spend so much time shaming ourselves for feeling bad and feeling ashamed and feeling overwhelmed but like 
it's okay to have a bad upset feeling about something. Your feelings are okay. That's the third point is know you're going to be okay. Know that the way you feel is justified, is rational, it does make sense, and that you have resources, you have people, you have support that are going to help you get through those feelings. The last way that you can learn to cope with these upset feelings that are going to be there with your eating disorder or without your eating disorder, or even if you don't have an eating disorder, right? Just any bad, bad stuff happens. We have negative emotions. The last thing you can do is find other ways to deal with it. So if the way that you cope with it isn't helping you, like not eating or binging and purging or working out all the time, restricting different types of fruit, food, that's not going to work for you. So find other ways to deal with those emotions. There are so many, I hate to use the word coping skills, but like you could Google coping skills and a long list of different coping techniques would come up. Google it and choose five off that list and try those five things and do one by one and when you get to the bottom of the list, if you still feel icky, go back and start over one, two, three, four, five, and keep doing that. And guess what? You're going to feel better and you're going to feel better without taking it out on your body, without taking it out on your self-esteem, without taking it out on your self-worth. And the more you take charge of those emotions and the more you feel empowered to deal with those emotions, the more you're self-esteem increases, the more your self-worth goes up, and the more empowered you feel and confident you feel to go out and live the life that you want to live. Um, fun fact, I have, and this doesn't happen ever, y'all, um, I have just like three spots available in my private practice for anyone dealing with self-esteem, self-worth, eating disorders, and anxiety. Um, if you are a young person, man or female, between the ages of 14 and 35, and you're struggling with those issues, give me a call. I can get you in, but those spots are going to go really, really, really fast. So if you want to feel better about yourself, your body, and your life, now is the time to get some help. Give me a call. I'm going to have my contact info in the comments. Um, don't forget to share this, like it, and if you found it helpful, share it with somebody who may need to hear it today. So hopefully you're coping. Uh, I don't want to use coping. Hopefully you're just accepting your feelings and dealing with them, and you are expressing your feelings in a way that you feel like expressing them today. Until later, I'll talk to you next time. Bye.